with the release of version 3 of Joomla, it is indeed becoming more easy to upload files from your computer to your server at your host provider. And as we have seen, it's also possible to upload files using the cPanel, your, your control panel at your host provider, using File Manager. However, you will probably find that there are times when it would be convenient to use a third-party software called an FTP program, File Transfer Protocol program, that will give you access to your host provider or your account on one of the servers at your host provider and allow you to very easily upload, like batch, upload a lot of files at once. So in this lesson, we're going to demonstrate how to do that using FTP software. And there are several good free FTP programs out there that you can use. Uh, I kind of like a program called WinSCP, so that's the one that we'll demonstrate in this tutorial. Just open a browser. You could use your search tool, but these days it's no longer necessary to type in what you're looking for in the search engine. You can also type it right into the space where you put in website addresses. So if you're not quite sure of the website address for what you're looking for, you can just type in uh, some keywords or the name of the business, and that will bring you to Google search or some other search engine. Let's try uh, typing in WinSCP, see what we get. And here right at the top is the official uh, site for WinSCP. WinSCP is open source software which uh, means it's free. Sometimes they'll ask for a donation. If you really like using the program, it, it's a good idea to support the people who are uh, providing it. But otherwise, it is free open source software. Now, the thing to remember when you're downloading this open source software is that you always try and uh, get it from the official site that is providing the software. You'll probably notice if you scroll down here that there are a number of other places where you could download this software but you need to be careful when you're downloading it from a third party because some of these third party providers take the main program and add a lot of other malicious software to the main program that you're wanting to use. And so if you get it from one of these other sources, you could get adware, malware, viruses, you know, a whole lot of really bad stuff that you don't want to get. So always try and get it from the uh, official source. And the thing to know is that even when you click into the official source, there could be advertising here that makes it look like this is the download button. Even up here, I think this is also an ad. So you have to be careful. Let's see what happens when we click this. And uh, we're still at winscp.net. Let's see what happens when we click the installation package. Oh, it looks like we're okay with that link. Um, so just be careful. Here's where you can kind of confirm that everything is kosher. Uh, you have chosen to open the name of the program that you want and where it is coming from. And we see that it's a secure site at winscp.net. I've actually, I'm doing this from Canada, so we do have this extra Canadian uh, site for winscp. This does confirm that it's a legitimate file and there shouldn't be any adware or malicious software with it. And then we can go up to our download arrow here and just uh, click on the executable file. It'll confirm what language you want. And it's a good idea to be careful, even at this point, uh, that there isn't any declared third-party software bundled with your installation. Looks like we're okay. Install. Okay, here's where they're asking for a little donation. And uh, usually I don't do it right away, but if I find myself using a program a lot and appreciating the service, I'll usually go back and make a donation just to help uh, encourage the software developers to continue working on the program so that I'll get continuous updates and uh, that the updates will avert any security issues that uh, may come along from the evil hackers out there. Okay, so we uh, see that uh, it has shown up on our desktop as an icon. Let's just click on that. And here we are at the login panel of WinSCP. And 
what we're actually going to be doing here is logging on to our server at our host provider when we do this, much in the same way as we would if we were logging into our cPanel. And so a lot of the information will actually be the same that we plug in here. Now, InMotion Hosting prefers that you use FTP rather than SFTP. Depending on your host provider, you may be able to use SFTP, but we'll just go with FTP. Now, under your host name, you might think that this is where you would put in the website address of your host, but no, actually what it's asking for here is your website address. And mine is... And the username and password here that they're asking for is where you would uh, type in the same username and password that you would as if you were logging on to your cPanel. Here you can choose to save this information so you don't have to uh, type it in every time. And whether or not you do this kind of depends on where your computer station is. If you're at work, you might want to just leave this unsaved. But if you're at home and you know that uh, it's fairly secure, you might want to save this so that you don't have to type it in every time. All right, we should be good to go. Let's try a login. Looks like it's asking for another level of uh, security here. Let's type in our password again. And we are in. What we're looking at here is the actual file directory uh, listed at our, our account at InMotion Hosting. And if you remember from your cPanel, when you went into File Manager, if you kind of took a look at the file directory, then you'll, you might recognize this whole list. And uh, what we want to do at this point is go into Public HTML. And then uh, the list of files and folders that show up here is primarily our Joomla installation that we installed uh, a short time ago. And uh, now, uh, just to demonstrate how this works, we could go in and, and add some files from our computer to our server using FTP software. So let's maybe go into Images, and uh, let's maybe add a folder. Go up here and click uh, this little icon here to create a directory. And uh, let's uh, maybe grab some images from one of my folders on my computer that I shot in Myanmar. So we create a folder called Myanmar. Double click on it to open it. Right now there's nothing there, but we'll open up. Uh, well, we'll go after the files on. Yeah, I think we've got some here. Yeah. Okay, so here's where we can demonstrate how you can upload a lot of files very quickly with a batch upload and using your shift key, select a bunch and just drag and drop those over to your server located somewhere in the United States uh, at InMotion Hosting. It'll ask you to uh, okay that and it will start the transfer. And uh, so you can see, you can get an idea of how convenient this would be to upload files from your computer to your server very quickly and conveniently. Now, as I, I mentioned, uh, with the release of Joomla 3, this is now becoming easier right within the Joomla software itself. You can now batch upload to uh, Joomla using their media manager. However, uh, there may be some file size restrictions in place that would make it difficult for you to upload uh, or batch upload a bunch of videos, for example, that have a much higher file size. And so if you are wanting to upload large file sizes, you might find it uh, helpful to be able to work with FTP software. There will be other uh, scenarios as well where FTP will uh, be a good option for you to use as you are building your website. Well, I believe that that does it for how to use FTP software to transfer files from your computer to your server.